Hey everybody, it's Megan and... Nate! <laughs> I didn't know I was saying anything. Yeah, last time you introduced me, am I introducing myself? Hi everybody, it's us, Megan and Nate. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he kills me. You can find us over at bymeganelizabeth.com. He likes to like join in with the fun on these videos sometimes. And uh, I thought it'd be fun because he actually had a brilliant idea for this video. Do you want to tell him what your idea was? I will show them. You talk. Okay. So the idea was this is my office chalkboard. It needs to be changed out for the season because Christmas is over and we're done with Santa's Village. And I have this Halloween transfer that we just got because I thought it was really cool but then Nate had the idea of masking out the October 31st and doing what with it I just thought like this was almost a perfect circle yeah and we'll do so, this part first and then we'll chalk over it and do that in the middle what is the what is the middle our logo for chalk couture well I wasn't sure <laughs> I was like <laughs> he's like um uh, pop quiz okay so you're gonna That'd be really cool. You had like that's a really great idea. Are yeah. you doing two colors or one? I'm gonna do two. Okay. It just shows how like you know. If, so, yeah, the if diversity. You have a, if you have a creative mind, I mean, you can definitely use different things. Like this one here, we just cut out, and right. then we're gonna go over top of it. So yeah, this is one of the business truck, uh, the truck couture logo business builder um, packs that we had. So all right, go ahead and you can start by cleaning off the chalkboard because that's what you're good at too. Well, I've noticed that a little bit of spritz. Just to help loosen that up a little bit. Just some regular tap water or uh, purified or purified distilled water or distilled way. water. And this is the that's one of the um, actual chalkboard erasers that uh, we I must call it a magic eraser. It well, is not. Well, it's magical how it erases things, but it's not <laughs> one of the magic erasers. No, this is one of our chalk couture board erasers, yeah. which is like such the perfect thing it's great for cleaning off chalkboards and surfaces that you chalk couture on you can yeah. see how effortless this is on top of the fact that they're really great for cleaning off your transfers too all you gotta do is just get a little bit of wet and just it takes some time for it to break up uh, very easily a little bit of rinse and just keep you know, working away at it yeah, you've got to push hard at all and then I always just take a paper towel over it at the very end just to like clean up any residue or whatever, but you don't have to do that either. Water really does clean this up very effortlessly overall. I'll start prepping your transfer for you if you want. Do you want me to? Yes, please. Okay. So to prep a transfer, uh, there's basically just two simple steps. The first step that you're going to do, well, three, if you include removing it from its bag. That's the first step. Remove it from its bag. Can I reach over top of you? Yes. Um, and then you want to grab a Sharpie marker. And you always want to mark the backing sheet. I like to mark it with what the transfer is because our transfers are reusable and many, many times over. And it really is helpful if you're doing multiple transfers to know what sheet it came from. And you also wanna mark that it's the back because there is a right side and a wrong side to put your transfers back onto. So first, you remove it from the bag. Second, you mark what the back is. Third, you're gonna peel it away and you're going to do what? You're gonna fuzz it. Fuzz it! Are we fuzzing? I'm gonna fuzz it on your shirt. I'm just sticking this right to the front of his shirt. He just likes that I touch him. It's fine. I think she actually likes the point of hitting me. <laughs> oh, you weren't supposed to tell him that. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> just try that out. <laughs> That's the way. Yeah, just a little white. Having a pretty dry surface is helpful too. Okay, I'll let you. So we already fuzzed it on his shirt, but you can just use a towel. You don't have to go abuse your fiance or spouse like I do. <laughs> Even though I enjoy it. I'm just kidding. No, she's you, not. no, I am. When do I ever abuse <laughs> you? Come on now. Tell the truth. Uh, all, only on air. Only on air. I torture you by making you be on with me. Should I move it over a little bit? Well, I don't think, I think it's okay. What do you think? Is it going to bother you? Kind of. Okay, then fix it. Right. You are more of a perfectionist than I am. But that's the really cool thing about Chalk Couture also is that everything is very removable and repositionable. And if you don't like the way it turns out, it's easily wash awayable as well. So if you would have done it and it would have bothered him after it was finished, it would wipe away super easy. Do you want help? Do 
Is that better? Yep. Okay. Yeah, sometimes two hands are better than one, but you definitely do not need two people to do this at once. Oh yeah, that's very true. No, but it's, it is nice, especially with the really large transfers to have two sets of hands. Okay, anyway, what did you say you were gonna do? Are you doing the peacock on the uh, outside? I'm gonna do two colors. Okay. One is the ocean mist. And the other one is Peacock. Yeah, which by the way, I could not open the other day because you were the last person to use it. And I was live and I could not get it to open. Sorry. Yeah, it was fun. Which one are you doing? I think I'm going to go with the Ocean Mist for the lines on the outside. Cool. And then the Peacock in the middle. Cool. All right. Do you have your squeegee squeegees? When they buy a kit, do they have certain size squeegees that come in it? Yeah, you get the uh, small squeegee in the designer kit, but we like to cut them in half, or I like to cut them in half, typically, because I feel like they're easier to work with. I don't have any cut in half right there. Here, hold this. I will show people what I mean, because I like to cut them up into pieces. So I'll take one like so, and then I cut it, and then I have two squeegees for two different colors and for different workability, but it's you don't have to do that either. So Megan, quick question. Yeah. If I leave this stuck on there for too long, will that hurt the transfer? It won't necessarily hurt the transfer, but if you have paste on top of it, it all the paste will peel up with the transfer and it won't leave anything behind. So basically you're just going over all the stripes, yep. huh? I always like to work from top to bottom. Okay. The other thing that you can do if you're working from top to bottom like that too, is peel up as you go. So it doesn't, basically, so it doesn't dry on top of that transfer like we were just talking about. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She says that now. But the thing is, is that even without the precision, if it goes like into the other circle, you can just wipe it away. Like really. <laughs> it's actually not a big deal. Look, I did. Mm-hmm. Here, I'll help peel from the top so it doesn't harden on the top while you're doing the. Because these are pretty full strips here. Am I messing you up? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'll leave it later then. You can see how long it really goes, you know, little. A little bit goes a long way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the excess can go right back into the container, so there's like no waste at all. Just continue squeegeeing it across. So it really is just as simple as picking your transfer, placing it on your surface, pasting it, and then peeling it up to reveal your perfection. Here, you want to grab the other side? Because I don't know why. That's fine. Oh my word, that's so cool. So cool. And you can see how I went inside that line a little bit. Which is no problem. I just gotta erase that out of there. What are you gonna erase it with? Just the paper towel? I think you can do it with just a paper towel, right? Yeah. Damn paper towel. Corner of it. Perfect. <laughs> right, that's actually better to just use a the you don't really need the heat, you need the air to dry. And it dries pretty quickly. You'll see it go from like a shiny finish to like a matte finish. And we'll speed through this really quickly. Awesome. All right, you're on it to do the Chuck Tour logo in the center. Now you could do it the same color if you wanted to, but I think I like the idea that you're doing the peacock in the center. Nah, it's just a guess. <laughs> Let's see. Peacock, one of my favorite colors. It was a fun color. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to be a pain. You got to really make sure this one, because there's so much negative space, you really want to make sure all those delicate parts are like stuck down to your board or you're going to have bleeding all around it. <clears throat> okay. And this one's been used quite a few times, so there might end up being a little bleeding anyway, but we'll see. Don't 
literally. Awesome. I can't wait to see it. You're so good at this. <laughs> I love that idea. And then you can see his finger kind of smudged it just a tiny smidgen. And whenever that happens, I always just grab, while it's still wet, I find, if you just grab a little paintbrush or a little Q-tip, you can just dab it and touch it up. Because his finger just barely touched it and you won't even notice. So easy. Love it. You did such a good job. I love that you came up with this idea. I had said about doing something to like mask out the 31 and then he was like, you should do the Chaka Tour logo. And I was like, that's a brilliant idea actually. So anyway, good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for doing it for everybody. Um, guys, if you have any questions at all about what Chaka Tour is or how you can create along with us, you can always join our exclusive crafters club. She makes where we do exclusive videos, workshops, and tutorials every single month. We'd love to invite you to become a Chaka Couture designer as well. We're welcoming new people from all over the United States and now parts of Canada. So links will be included in both our video description as well as in the comments. So you can find us any which way. And as always, you can visit us at bymeganelizabeth.com, learn more about me, our family, and all the fun things that we do together, and make your life and enjoy the moment. So I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.